Hello and welcome to the Guangzhou Auto Show 2024. Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of a look inside a very special car from a very interesting joint venture here in China. That brand is, of course, Jiyue. Now, before we get to the car, let me give you a quick download of who GUIT is, because they're a very young brand, and many of you watching this might not know too much about them. Let me keep it simple, and we'll use the international name of GDU to make this easier. GDU is a joint venture between a business often called China's Google, Baidu, and Chinese car maker Geely. Now, Baidu isn't just a search engine, it's a lot of tech stuff too including autonomous driving technology and advanced AI. And so what do you get? AI-powered, autonomous-capable electric cars. That's what GDU does. Right now, they've got the Robo01, this funky-looking SUV hatchback, and the Robo07, this absolutely stunning-looking coupe-esque saloon. Mm. But what have they got in store for us at the Guangzhou Auto Show? Well, something really quite different from those. This is the Robo X, a car Jidu are calling the world's first intelligent driving hypercar. It's the brainchild of Jidu chief designer Frank Wu, and just like the Robo01 and Robo07 before it, it's a Red Dot Design Award and German Design Award winner before it's even gone on sale. So what are the headline figures of the Robo X? To begin with, it'll do 0 to 100 km per hour in under 1.9 seconds, courtesy of not one not two, not even three, but four electric motors, one built into each wheel. We don't have any figures for those yet, but imagining we double what Lotus offers in the Electra with two motors, we could potentially see something like 1,350 kilowatts or even more. Not that it would need to be too high because GDU tells us the Robo X will weigh in at just 1,850 kilograms, thanks to an integrated full carbon fiber chassis combined with an aluminium body structure. One thing's for sure, the Robo X will not be based on the SEA platform. In addition to all that, they're also planning to fit it with a custom liquid cooling system and a solid state battery. But again, no further information on that just yet. Now you can actually see some of this cooling system in the car itself, because they very neatly made this visible with these purple pipes down the back here, somehow managing to kind of bring that transparent engine bay look to an electric car that obviously doesn't have a traditional engine inside. Much of the sculpting around the body here is to do with aerodynamics, as you'd expect of a car of this type. And you'll see here different elements such as open inner wheel arches, wing end plates around the car, a huge rear diffuser and a split rear spoiler as well. But some of this aero is actually for that liquid cooling system too, including the large air box on top of the cabin. The cabin itself operates like a halo on a Formula One car to keep this cockpit safe. But you know what? All of that physical stuff might not even be the most interesting part about this car, because you may have spotted that we have a few blue turquoise lights dotted around the vehicle. For those of you familiar with our videos about Chinese cars with autonomous capabilities, you may recognize these as lights that distinguish when a car is in autonomous driving mode. And if you were paying attention earlier, you'll know that Baidu are experts in this field. So am I telling you that the Robo X hypercar will also have autonomous driving ability? Well, of course, but it goes beyond merely driving autonomously on the road, because what fun would that be in a hypercar? That's right, the Robo X will be capable of taking you autonomously around a racetrack and is even designed to compete in AI races. But how exactly do you equate the thrill and exhilaration of racing a hypercar at high speed with being driven around at speed? I asked chief designer Frank Wu and he explained it like this. He told me that he loves racing on Gran Turismo and setting a fastest lap and then chasing the ghost car to try and set a faster lap. With Robo X, he envisions drivers letting the car set a fastest lap first, then being able to chase and try to beat that lap with human ability. And honestly, that sounds pretty cool to me. He also suggested the Robo X could come loaded with track information from circuits around the world to make this happen. 
Now, if you're lucky enough to sit inside a Robo X, what you're going to see is a two-seater cabin with very lean carbon fiber seats, plus a minimalist cockpit with a digital display on the steering wheel, a tiny little screen on the dash to talk to Sumo, the car's AI assistant, and another screen on the center console, along with a rotary dial. And that's pretty much it, apart from some fancy ambient lighting across the dash and in the door speakers, and of course, purple seatbelts, which is a bit of a GDU trait. Designer Frank Wu says that the Robo X follows the principle of form follows function, meaning that everything you see on and inside the Robo X is there because it serves a purpose. So even the eagle wing doors are designed as such to make entry to the very low cabin just that little bit easier. So the question we really need to answer is, given Jidu is such a young brand and only currently sells two cars, why are they showcasing the Robo X and why now? CEO Joe Shear told us that he's always envisioned the brand as a design leader and that the Robo X, with its performance level autonomy, is the ideal way to demonstrate the power of the vision-based ADAS platform. He believes the Robo X's shadow will be visible on hypercars to come for the next 30 years and that its design, born for ultimation and originality, will be a milestone in China's car design history. If the Robo X takes your fancy, GDU are now taking deposits ahead of a planned launch in 2027, and this is one we'll be keeping a very close eye on.